Hey guys, this is Martin and I want to show you another feature from the new Burp Suite Professional where in Burp AI they introduced a very cool functionality basically to make sure that uh, you find access control vulnerabilities at scale and also reduce the false positives, right? And so I'm going to show you this real quick. I already ran this scan on Chin and Choose shop and I will show you this real quick, like how to configure this. But um, obviously the scan takes a while and in order to keep the video short, I have already run it. So how you would do this, you will go to new scan right? And then you select um, crawl and audit, right? And then here you have the option called AI enhancements. And what you have to do here is you just tick this one. And then this is trying to find broken access control issues at scale, right? So this is one of the biggest problems, I would say, for a lot of bug hunters and a lot of pen testers to find more IDORs and, and access control related issues. And fundamentally access control is um, the underlying cause, right? Like, so if you swap the cookie out or you try an un uh, unauthenticated request and stuff like that, those are the best ways to test it. Now you have like um, different extensions like um, verb, verb extensions for, for that matter, like you have authorize and stuff like that to to actually uh, try to automate this, but this is actually really cool, right? Like, and then you go to scan details and then you would simply put in your URL and then in scan configuration, you need to use custom and then you actually need to uh, add two sets. One is for crawling and one is for auditing, right? Um, because the reason for that is in the crawling, you need to disable the authentication. And, and that's, Otherwise, the AI extension <clears throat> cannot do its job. So it needs to do it authenticated, obviously, and unauthenticated. For the application login, you simply can use the new feature we already discussed, which is this one here, right? That you use the, the AI recorded login to quickly set this up, and then you simply run it. Once it's run, you will basically find something called broken access control in the issues, right? And then you can dive dive deep into it. And then you take a look here and it says like, well, there is PII on this specific page, right? On the order details. And then there is a parameter, but the, the whole uh, order details is vulnerable to this. And what it did is it's basically um, found this through the authenticated portion, but then it also ran this unauthenticated against that specific uh, URL here. And here in the request, you see this, like it went to the get order details and then it put like another parameter on there, but you have your session information here. You, you have your cookie, which is this one here, right? And then you got all the results and then it, it replayed the whole same thing again, but this time without cookies. So there's no cookies and it still got the same response back basically, right? And uh, this is super neat and I haven't tried it in production yet. So I've only played with it uh, on the chin and shoes shop, but I see a lot of potential in this one. And this is again built in um, and you, you can then see here when you see this, these three stars, the, the AI symbol that this one was run with AI uh, addition, so to speak, right? And it's actually still running and AI takes time and things like this, but, but it will over time, this will be, a really good um, feature to have when you do penetration testing or bug bounty hunting. That's all I wanted to show you. I hope you like it and I see you in the next video.